members of the academic community have a unique opportunity to challenge stereotypes, break down barriers and create pathways for women to excel and thrive in the chosen fields. Dean of Lagos Business School, Professor Chris Ubeche, stated this while delivering his keynote address at an event to mark the year 2024 International Women's Day held at Lagos Business School premises in Aja, Lagos. Our correspondent, Love Ikuku Uyedokun, tells us more in this report. Seated are members of the Lagos Business School community with women well represented. They are here to celebrate the achievements of women past, present and future in commemoration of the 2024 International Women's Day. With rapt attention, they listen, learn, encourage and inspire one another in commemoration of the day. The event kicks off proper with panel of discussions sharing their experiences. I remember once I was interviewing for a role and the hiring manager was a woman. She told me point blank, like you qualify, but I'm not going to hire you because you have a child or a young child and when I'm looking at you, I feel like you're going to have more children and that's going to affect the future leaves you're going to take. So I'm not going to hire you for this role for no reason other than the fact that oh, you're a woman, I'm not going to do it. But that didn't stop me, and I feel like that's how I've been able to push through it. I have two young girls, for instance, now, and every time I have to look through the sports that they can play. So you see taekwondo, you see football, you see ballet, you see dance, you see music and all that. Initially, when I saw that, I would just say taekwondo is not for girls. No, 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 no I'm not even going to consider that. Football, definitely not. And I have to tell myself, well, why? This is the bias, this is the promotion, this is the unconscious bias, you know, and so it's, it's a lot of self-talk. Actually, when I first started teaching at the business school, I was coming and they won't pay the least attention to me because they didn't believe that this young lady in front was the one that was going to teach them. But then it shaped me because I realized that they may not want to listen to me on account of maybe my youth or uh, maybe because I was female. And that the only thing that may make them pay attention was the degree of competence and expertise I displayed in terms of the subject matter expertise. And therefore, I learned that, you know what, I had to be, I had to go over and above to be deemed as competent and capable. Professor Chris Ogwechi is the Dean of Lagos Business School, LBS. He reaffirms the commitment of the school to building a workplace culture that celebrates diversity, empowers women, and fosters an environment where everyone can reach their full potentials. So by championing inclusion and embracing our colleagues' diversity, perspectives, and experiences, we pave the way for a more equitable and prosperous future for all. Let us continue to inspire change and make a lasting impact on women's lives everywhere, not just in every Angela Wambugu is the Director of Advisory Services for Africa at Women's World Banking. She is hopeful of positively influencing the Nigerian financial sector to push more women into decision-making roles. They'll be able to influence the sector in general so that we even start having inclusivity when it comes to aspects of women financial inclusion. We believe that when we have more women in decision-making roles, then even the policies that they set up in those institutions that they work in will be friendly towards attracting more women and getting more women on board to access the services that they need to be fully empowered and to have prosperity in their lives and impact the community. Inclusion is uh, it's part of our DNA, if you like, right? Um, gender exclusion is hardly experienced in LBS. Um, but with specific respects to an initiative that we're currently involved in, um, there is a co-impact uh, project, which is essentially, we've defined it as the Engendering Nigerian Financial Services Ecosystem uh, Project. And essentially, um, the intention of that project is to ultimately achieve parity in executive and decision-making roles um, in Nigerian financial services ecosystem. However, 
There are calls for women to change the status quo and societal norms that restrict them to certain roles in the workplace so together they can actualize their goals. The event was themed Inspire Inclusion, Anticipate. Love Ikuku Uyeduku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.